Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So it's currently Sunday afternoon. It's around, uh, it's like quarter to four, and I'm just going to start my self-care night routine. Um, I always give myself a super relaxing night on Sunday nights. Like, I run a bath, I watch a movie, and I just really relax just to sort of combat those Sunday scaries. Um, I do all my cleaning and things like that, like the actual prep in the morning. If you've seen my other Sunday reset vlogs, um, then you probably already know. I just thought I'd do a little bit more in depth of like what I do for actual self-care and yeah, my night routine for that. So I'm probably just going to take um, a bath and put in a hair mask and face mask while I watch a movie. Um, I really like to watch movies on Sunday nights because I don't really have the time to watch, sit down and watch a full movie any other time during the week. So I just like to let myself completely relax and do that. And then I will be cooking dinner and I'll bring you along for my, everything else that I do. But without further ado, let's get this self-care night started. Take my hand and hold it tight Look at the paintings, I'll be your guide Don't stop looking in my eyes Are you cold? Do you want to see? Um, it's a little, it's a while later. Um, sorry if you can hear the fan going. I have my computers exporting and the bathroom fan is on just because there's no windows or anything in there. So it's just to air it out after like a hot bath. But I'm out of the bath now. I usually just sit there, do a face mask as you saw, a hair mask. I don't, I usually leave my hair mask in for a long time just because I really like the moisture like I have really dry skin and hair so I usually just leave it in for like a couple of hours just to let it really absorb and um, I will watch a movie while it's doing while it's doing that um, I'll watch for as long in the bath as I want and then I'll move into here and while I'm in here I usually will do some sort of computer work so right now I'm exporting my video but I'm also going to plan out my workouts for the week and just, I just, I have like my, the stuff I have to do for my videos and stuff like that up here and when my videos are going live. So I usually will do just sort of like planning like that while I'm sitting here um, on my computer and then watch my movie. Um, and I'll like usually shower this out and do my full, I do like a in-depth skincare routine on Sunday nights after my shower. Um, so after dinner, I'll do, I'll shower up my hair mask and do my skincare routine. Not too exciting, but on my relaxing night, I try and do as much, as little as possible, but I do like to have my week planned out in, in my videos, like, so I don't have to worry about them at all during the actual week. But I'm watching, the movie I decided to watch today is Richie Rich. I don't know if anybody else watched this. This was one of my favorite movies as a kid, along with Beethoven. So if you watched either of those movies, let me know in the comments below because I loved them. So I'm watching it for the first time. When I was watching Home Alone during Christmas time, it really made me want to watch this. And then I saw it, it got put on Netflix. So I was like, okay, I have to watch it now. So that's what I'm doing. And it just makes me really happy because it's just like my childhood. I'll let you know if it holds up. I doubt it, but I, I haven't I honestly haven't seen it since I was a kid, so I'm gonna go do that. Don't stop looking at me now. Okay, so I'm done watching Richie Rich and it was so good. It was really nice to watch that again. Um there's some things that age didn't age well, but overall, it's the feeling of nostalgia watching it, and I really like it. 
normally I would probably have had to make dinner at some point instead of watching the whole movie, but Steven was very kind and made me dinner tonight, so I didn't have to cook at all. We had a leftover good food box, so that's what we're having for dinner, and I'll probably have some sort of, maybe I'll have a kombucha or something, or just water. I haven't decided yet. No, you don't care as much as I do, but I'm just content with me next to you. Okay, so um, I already washed my face when I was in the showers, but this is the cleanser I used, and these are all the products I'm using right now. And I also just brushed my teeth and floss on camera just because I find it a little gross to watch myself brush my teeth and I don't know why. I just do. So I did that off camera, but now I'm going to do the rest of my skincare and moisturize like my legs and stuff like that. Then I'm basically ready for bed. Oh, and then I'm going to do some hair stuff and I'll show you an overview of what I use for my hair. My hair is getting crazy long. I really need to get it cut, but this has definitely helped keep it healthy in the time that it's been growing. So let's time lapse the skincare part of this. Let's go to an art museum. I'll explain it at the cup. Oh, I also wanted to say that I'm planning on actually starting to use my hands or in looking on Amazon to find reusable cotton pads for my toner until once these this pack is done, just because I find it's a huge waste of when not, I'm sure a reusable one you works just as well, if not better. Keisha, I know you don't get it, but there's no need to fret it. It's like a gift, it's about the thought. No name might be too much, and then go might take a while. But thank you for coming. I know that you're trying to do anything to make this stuff is has helped with my mask acne so much. If you're looking, for, if you're also struggling with mask acne, this is really good. It's actually better for oily skin and I have dry skin, but as long as you follow, follow it up with a nice moisturizer, you should be good. But if you have oily skin, this is even actually better. And I swear by this, this lip chap, it helps so, so, so much. If you live in a wintry climate or a cli cold climate, this helps with chap lips like a mate, like, and it gives a little tint. So it kind of is like you're wearing a little bit of a chapstick if you wear it during the day. Okay, so the lighting is a little weird because of my screen. Actually, better here, I'll close it for now. But the last thing I need to do tonight is based on what I got done today, I just like to do a time blocking thing of tomorrow so I am gonna do that right now that's the last thing I really like to do before I go to bed um and I'll show you what the finished product looks like before I end this vlog and then I basically am gonna sit here with a big glass of water and read for a long time and I usually because on Friday and Saturday, I've usually gone to bed later. I usually will give myself more time to read at night just to get myself a little more tired and hopefully go to sleep. But anyways, so I'm going to go schedule this. I just like to wake up on Monday morning with a plan for the day already ahead. It just makes my day a little easier. Mondays are always difficult for me. I People are always so motivated on Mondays, but I'm definitely... I just get stressed out with the amount of stuff that I feel like I need to do throughout the week on Monday, so they're not my favorite days, I'm not gonna lie. So if I have like an actual little plan done ahead of time, it does help a lot. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I'm also going to be just finishing up any other work for the next probably for the next probably like 20 minutes. I'll probably do a bunch as much work as I can on my computer and then I'll be reading for the next hour or until I fall asleep. You and me, the caffeine will make sure that you don't fall asleep Cause darling, you're sleepy, eyes are closing That's the end of 
have my self-care Sunday routine. I'm just gonna sit here and read my book. Right now I'm reading the Jane Austen Society and I'm just, I'm probably gonna go to bed soon because I'm pretty tired, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!